my channel if you are not new welcome back i am ashley michelle and i am back at it again in another video okay period as you can tell by the title this is a hair tutorial in this video i'm showing you how i get these flat iron curls that i do all the time that i love super duper so much in the video you hear a fan every time i speak because it is sweltering okay in my room i'm super duper hot okay and i didn't want to melt all my makeup off so sorry apologies but i'm pretty sure you understand make sure you like comment and subscribe don't forget to turn on the post notification because you don't want to miss what i got coming next so yes without further ado let's get into this video y'all i apologize in advance for this fan i am sweltering okay sorry but um, let's get into this. So, flat iron curls. This video was supposed to be done hours ago. Like procrastination is real. So as you can see, I already installed this wig. I already did the baby hairs. I got two rep strips on. This is irrelevant information for y'all. What you're gonna need for this style um a flat iron of course i'm using the infinity pearl from conair um I'm, maybe this is i think it's a one inch um got this from kohl's 45 dollars i know they also sell it at ulta we're gonna need some type of well i mean you don't need this but this is what i'm using some type of like shining or like liquid gloss this is what this is this is the don't make fun of my nails this is the Sebastian, um, the professional, Sebastian, professional, professional Sebastian. I can't really read it right now. Professional Sebastian liquid gloss um, drops. Love this stuff. I love it so much. Um, you're also going to need like a rat toe comb and also some got to be freeze blast. Let's unveil this scarf and these two strips have been on for a good maybe two hours like the whole time I've I was doing my makeup they've been on so I know that my edges and my baby hairs are dried these are not my good scissors these scissors barely want to cut I need my glasses for this and I did something a little different on my edges or my baby hairs this time um just because, you know, I was feeling, you know, a little different, a little different. I love this. I gotta fix it. But I love it. In case you're wondering, I use this Nairobi um, styling lotion or fine foaming lotion on my baby hairs. And then I let them sit. So I'm just gonna comb them out. I also have the setting lotion or the foaming lotion on, like, um, on this part of my hair. It's also there. All right, so now into the tutorial. What you want to do, what you want to do is section your hair off into, I don't know, however many sections you're comfortable with. I'm going to do four just because it's just easier for me. So I'm going to part off, actually I'm going to do three. So I'm going to part off this whole front section because that's going to be used for my bangs. And then I'm going to part this just straight down the middle. That's my three sections. Now, now I'm obviously not just going to curl like, you know, those two huge sections. But it's just, you know, sorting it out. Like the first step is sorting it out. So now we're going to be working on this section right here. I lost my red toe comb. Whatever. So what you want to do now is take smaller sections, not super small, because honestly, they don't need to be super small. These curls are going to be combed out either way, so or like fingered through. So 
you know, just take a healthy, healthy section. Maybe like that. This part. This back part a little nip snap. Put that away. All right. Is my flat iron on? No, it is not. If you can see my back lace. Because I don't even do that. I don't mm -mm. want to take my drops. And I'm just going to take one. Honestly, one is probably a little bit much for that section. But let's do it. And this, you know, is not really... It's oil, so I mean it has some hydrating properties. But it's not meant to hydrate. It's meant to just literally give shine. Give sheen. So, my flat irons are on 455. 455 degrees. Uh, I always use them on there. They go as low as 230, 280, I think. But it's still blinking, so I'm waiting for it to heat up all the way. Oh, there we go. All right, so now for the curling. Disclaimer, I am not a pro. I do not do hair for a living. I don't work in a salon. I do not have my license. I do my hair. So what you want to do is clasp it. Bring the hair around, and you want to pull and twist. All right? And then you want to make sure that you're shaping it. Can you see that? Come back up. Can you see? There's the curl. All right? Instant replay right now. I'm gonna do it again. I'm probably gonna do it a couple more times because honestly, I understand like it's it's difficult. It took me too long to understand how like my mom was literally like Ashley. And she had to keep doing it. But it was difficult for me, so I'm gonna make sure. We're gonna make sure that you get it, okay, sis? Cause once you got it, it's really easy. Like I've done this hairstyle maybe a cool maybe 10 times and it's like clockwork now like so i'm telling you once you get it once you get the basics the fundamentals it's literally so easy oh and another thing is the important one really important thing besides curling is shaping because honestly shaping your curls or manipulating your curls whatever you want to call it just guiding them the way you want them to look or the way you want them to go all right so i'm trying to make sure that y'all can see but i still can see my mirror so clasp take the hair around and over pull and rotate that oil i mean that uh, steam is coming from the oil i'm not burning the hair in shape now it is best to shape the hair before it cools i understand that it can burn but that is the best time if you let it cool it's cooling in that same position so you want it to cool the way that you're shaping it i hope that makes sense because if it doesn't i'm going to be watching this back like i think i'm gonna do it a couple more times just so that y'all can see um you know the process or whatnot i'm gonna speed it up but i mean i do this pretty slow so you should be able to see just fine and then i'll come back when i'm doing my shebang how that curl was way longer but when I shaped it that thing sprung up in the action that's why you shape and another tip the further you pull out 
or not the further the longer you pull out without rotating the longer your curl is what the heck the longer your curl is gonna be Percent of this side finished. If that looks weird, bruh. Like I said, I'm not a professional, so you know, I got this and I didn't do redo it because I thought it was cute, but then I also had this and then I also had these. But I like the differentiation because it all adds value to me, in my opinion, it all adds vol um, volume to when I like, you know, and also, um. This wig was layered. Well, not was. It is layered. Is that that's a good one? This wig is layered um, by yours truly, and I feel like the layer. Well, no, I know for a fact the layer makes the bang, and this front area on this side that I haven't gotten to yet pop ten times more like like when it's like um combed out and brushed out and stuff or fingered out however you know you choose to separate the layering makes this look 10 times better so if you are planning on doing this hairstyle want a wig on your real hair i don't know like i said not a professional so i wouldn't just say oh you must definitely have to layer this hair and no, i'm not gonna say that Cause it's probably you know it's some hairstylists that don't gotta cut their clients' hair at all and still get the same result. But if you're doing it on a wig and you don't care, like this wig was only eighty dollars, so I really didn't care about you know cutting it. If you don't care about cutting the hair, putting some really nice layers. Um, I feel like it'll be it's worth it because when you you know start to bang it and stuff and it feathers out the way that it does just so perfectly you're gonna be happy that you cut it so just saying okay and recent discoveries when i twirl it this way i get a looser curl when i curl when i turn it that way as far as shaping, I get a tighter curl. That made no sense. I'm gonna show y'all. Oh my god, I thought the edge of my wig. All right, curling it this way makes it tighter. Cause if you see, it didn't look like that, you know, before. okay now when you're up here um like where it's like shaping your face essentially you want to curl away from the face um if you've seen a hair curling tutorial then i'm pretty sure then uh, i mean what i'm pretty sure that you you know heard curling away from your face which is when you take the barrel flat iron in this case and you're going away from your face so you're going back from your face i think this whole time I've been curling away from my face, so on this side, I've been going this way, and on this side, I'm going to go that way. But really, in the front, you want to really make sure that you're doing it. Because if you curl in your face, I mean, it's way, it'll look, it's ways that it'll look right. 
But in order for it to frame your face properly, I suggest curling away from the crease. And for these smaller parts, I don't want y'all to think that I'm being wasteful and using a whole pump of oil for um, these little pieces. I'm not. I'm literally using a little bit. This whole side is finished. It looks really cute, really pretty. Generally, because I don't have any my glasses. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is this side off camera, and I will be right back. It's gonna be like 45 minutes for me. Literally, not even two seconds for you. All right, y'all. So I finished this side, and I put um whatever. I finished this side, and I put my bonnet on so that my curls would like instantly drop. So now for the shebang so i know this look like a lot of well i don't know do this look like a lot of hair to be in the bang i don't know to me it kind of is but i like my bangs very 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 dramatic so look at that it's like now but yeah i like for my bangs to be really dramatic so yes so let me show y'all i'm gonna show y'all like step by step and this basically dead going near the whole front so if i'm being honest so i'm gonna get some of this oil i'm gonna just put a lot like i'm gonna just i mean not too much come on on every you know drop so that's a lot um, so what we're gonna do for the lower parts these parts the parts that are hanging down essentially we're gonna curl them a specific way okay so still going away from the face we're going to curl rotate but pull down like that Now you're gonna do that for all the ones going down, but for the ones in the front, you don't wanna do that. Don't like that, okay? And um, for all of the curls, I put the bonnet on because I haven't, I'm not using hairspray because I really hate the got to be spray for holding like hair. I just feel like it makes it so crunchy and so hard. And if you spray it from too far away, it doesn't make it crunchy or hard, but it just don't hold worth a crack. So to me, so if you're gonna spray your hair, I suggest the um, Sebastian Professional, look at that. See that? That's straight scalp. Can't tell me it's not growing out of my head. Suggest the Sebastian's, the professional Sebastian's, same people who make this, um, Pro Shaper, Shaper Pro Plus, Shaper Plus something. I'm gonna put a picture right here. Or, no, I'm gonna put a picture right here. I'm gonna put a picture right here. This is what I suggest if you wanna spray something onto hair. Because it, it doesn't make the hair stiff. It doesn't make the hair stiff you know the hair still will move it'll still flow but it's hell like it'll stay and only reason why I'm not using that is because I ran out and ain't had a chance to go to the hair store Alright, so now for this side, 
<laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go keep going straight back. I'm gonna start from back here and move all the way up. Straight back. Like that. And it looks really dumb. It looks really stupid right now, but just wait. I lied. They don't look stupid. They look really beautiful, actually. I love curls. I've always why did I say curls like that? I've always loved curls, but I ain't know how to do them. So I was always like, mm, they ain't that good, but no, they are. Don't be a hater because you don't know how to do something. Or how to do it. Now, before I comb this out and give you all the big grand reveal, I am going to take, I'm gonna take my, up uh, my got to be freeze blast and a toothbrush, comb, whatever you feel comfortable with, whatever you have, it's all about alternatives. And I'm going to literally spray this. Because I love a cute, nice lift. So I'm gonna use my comb to give the lift. And all I'm doing to give myself the lift is spraying it on there and combing it back. See that? Lift. And I'm gonna do that for the whole thing. Around. I'm, and I don't want too high of a lift here I'm not really being crazy on the side so I'm gonna use my toothbrush because I feel like the comb really gets through and lifts everything so if you want to lift but not too much of a lift toothbrush or you know regular brush whatever and I'm also gonna do a little bit on this side also toothbrushing it and like I said I don't have a set part so I'm gonna make sure that that's not you know anything showing okay here we go so now i'm gonna take this off like i said all of the hair is curled and what i'm gonna do for the back is just give it a good nice finger combing just to separate them make it a little bit bigger really nice really pretty shake them if you want All right, now for the bang, we're not just gonna use these, okay? What hash? Okay, we're gonna use our wide tooth comb. And this is what we're gonna do. Make sure you're holding your lace so that that bad boy don't come off. And the lift, the lift is giving hair to the heavens. I just, I love this hairstyle so much. But yes, this is how you get it. And even with the bang, it's all about shaping. It's all about shaping. It don't have to be that high. If you want it high, it can be that. But it doesn't have to be that high. But yep, that's how you do it. That's how easy it is. I'm not even going to say that because I don't know if it was easy for you. But all I can say is practice makes perfect. The first time I did a curl with the flat iron, it was not perfect. Nowhere near. And I still can't do a curl with a barrel. So, you know, and that's another thing, you know, try different tools. Maybe flip flat irons aren't your twist maybe the barrel is for you it's all about finding what works for you and getting the results that you want wish i would fill the food from jimmy choo's baby what Oh, my
stretch. 